ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann with our Morning Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 11th day of December. Very interesting weather situations here to talk about over the next five days and beyond that. So let's just get right to it. Some Skycam shots early this morning. Coming from our Skycam network and look at the fog rolling in at Gulf Shores. That's the view from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. Down below, you can barely see the lights of the public beach parking lot there. But uh, the air, needless to say, down there is moisture laden. Now, up this way, so far, the fog not that bad. There's the uh, view coming from the Wingate Inn. You can see a little fog around the Cahaba River, but uh, again, for the moment, not as bad as yesterday. But that could change. I'm doing this about 5 o'clock. Might be different than that at 6 o'clock. And Tuscaloosa looking good. There's the uh, shot downtown coming from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Weather is today not changing a whole lot from yesterday. Whopper of a trough over the southwest United States, setting up an icy mess across the uh, nation's midsection there, and a warm ridge that will more than likely provide more record temperatures across the deep south today. There's a look at the uh, nation this morning at 5 o'clock, and uh, the good news for eastern Oklahoma, warm air beginning to advect up in there. Uh, places like Tulsa, where they are still on ice, but at least they will be above freezing today. Uh, but it's going to take days to restore all the electricity out there. Of course, very mild around here, uh, down into the uh, Texas coastal plain. Still cold up north, uh, very cold up north, and it's the clash of the air masses. But the air is very shallow, that cold air on the southern flank, and that's the reason for the ice there. And there's a look at our winter storm set up this morning. Ice storm warnings up from western Oklahoma through much of eastern Kansas, northern Missouri, southern Iowa, and up to Chicago. And here's a look at the uh, snow potential for today. Um, heavy snow possible across the Rockies and uh, in a little strip there from eastern Colorado up to about Milwaukee. And there's the ice set up today, and that's pretty ugly looking. Nasty looking icing from Kansas City to Chicago. So uh, needless to say, if you're flying through Chicago today, good luck with that. And of all things, we have a tropical storm to talk about here on the 11th of December. It's a, tr a subtropical storm. It's not the, the classic tropical system, but the thing is sitting not too far from Puerto Rico, and it's called Olga. Olga, yeah, I like that name. Uh, the forecast track has it moving across the Caribbean, uh, scooting across Hispaniola in Jamaica is a tropical depression. Uh, that'll create some rain. Of course, it's not a super dangerous storm, but interesting to note, the tropics are still kicking here at uh, this late date in the season. Well, let's take a, take a look at model output here, and this is interesting stuff. This is the 06Z run of the GFS, valid at... Uh, 12 noon today. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Trough in the west, ridge here in the southeast. No change today. Tomorrow, we're still under ridging. We'll still do mid to upper 70s tomorrow. The trough begins to weaken and lift out. And Thursday, what's left of it passes north of here. And there's the trailing front with a band of showers. Surface low uh, over West Virginia. And again, that's not going to bring a whole lot of rain. We're talking maybe a quarter inch. Not good at all, but uh, let's go on to Friday. Now, the all of the models have latched on to this idea. Finally, some consistency giving us a better confidential feel for this forecast. Now, Friday, a trough forms another trough in the southwest. This one's not going to sit there. It comes out. Saturday, the axis of the trough is pretty much uh, a little west of the Mississippi River. And let's look at the surface now. In response to the trough, a surface low begins to form. Over uh, the southeastern part of Alabama, it's broad at this point, and this is suggesting Saturday will be a wet day, uh, rain developing and becoming widespread. On the back edge of that, there is a little window of opportunity for the rain to change to snow for places like Memphis and Greenville, Mississippi. And yes, that air is coming off the snowpack and the ice pack up north. Let's go to 6 o'clock Saturday evening. Surface low deepens rapidly near Columbia, South Carolina. The northerly flow at the surface intensifies, and the model is suggesting rain changing to snow across North Alabama. But let me tell you, this thing is a very fast mover on this model run. 
And uh, we've seen this on the, the last three consecutive runs. So there's good consistency now. But let's go to midnight Saturday night, and uh, the thing pulls off and deepens even more over, uh, well, Virginia. And the uh, flurries will be tapering off at midnight. So there's, yes, there seems to be a little window where the rain could change to snow here from maybe uh, 5 or 6 o'clock Saturday afternoon until midnight Saturday night. It is moving so quickly, and the ground is so warm. You, you just, at the moment, can't get too excited about any accumulation potential. And then Sunday, uh, that thing bombs out over Boston, and that's going to be a nasty blizzard for some of the inland sections of New England up there. And, of course, uh, understand now this is early in the game, and all of this could change, but we'll probably go ahead and roll with that scenario. Rain Saturday, briefly changing to snow Saturday night before ending with no major accumulation expected. And then Sunday would be cold and dry. And Monday of next week will be cold in the morning. We'll probably reach the uh, low 50s Monday afternoon. But, boy, that'll be a big change from the 70s, won't it? And we'll peek into voodoo country. Why not? Uh, and understand if the models are having a hard time with this weekend, you can forget about this being accurate. But just for the fun of it, this is Christmas Day. Uh, yesterday, we had a uh, trough coming in here with rain. Well, now it's got a big ridge, a warm ridge with a trough in the southwestern states, much like the deal now. If this happens to be correct, it'll be warm and maybe wet on Christmas Day with uh, big snows back in the southern uh, Rockies, uh, the mountains of Arizona and New Mexico again. But again, this is nothing more than science fiction at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 this afternoon. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.